guys welcome and welcome back to my channel so i'm gonna tell you guys what it really is as far as lip piercings go i'm completely winging this hopefully y'all can't see or hear rather what's going on in the background and of course my phone goes off sorry about that so yeah as you guys can see you may or may not notice because i realized actually in the previous video or the video of me piercing my lip and also of my piercing tour video as well. I just realized my lip piercing was really small, which is how I wanted it. I didn't want it to be too out there. Honestly, not that I didn't want it to be. It was because of my job, really. Not that they told me that, but I just felt like it would be a little more low key if I did it that way. Anyway, long story short, I ended up taking it out. Uh, I just felt like it was clashing with the rest of my, or the, my other two nostril piercings. Um, I kind of like this whole like center thing <laughs> going on. So I would prefer to just keep it that way. And I came to that conclusion for the third time, <laughs> actually probably like the fourth or fifth time really because i've had my lip pierced multiple times before i had snake bites i had a single side labrette i had obviously now my central i had my medusa i had all of that but i eventually always seem to come to a point that okay i think i just like my nostril piercings <laughs> and so now that i am like solid in that i'm just like okay i'm not gonna mess with that on top of that my lip or my tongue piercing would show a lot and obviously I, I love my tongue piercing i don't mind it showing clearly <laughs> that's why i got it i just felt like it with the lip piercing was just a little too much visually going on down here like it was everything down here well not everything because it was only just the two but the lip, the tongue, and then you had the focal points up here. I didn't really like that too much. I wanted to keep it kind of right here, or rather I came to the conclusion again that I kind of just like the focus being here and you know, to my eyes. So I just left it at that and I said, you know what? I'm good. If it ain't broke, don't fix it type of thing, basically. So yeah, I ended up taking it out maybe about a week ago at this point at the point of recording this. Another reason I took it out is because it was rubbing up against my gums, not in the way that I pierced it the first time. The first time it was like, it was unbearable. This time it was better, like much better. Honestly, let me retract that. It wasn't rubbing up against my gums like, you know, crazy. It was more so if I didn't want it to rub up against my gums, I had to, have a super, super short barbell. And that barbell being so short, it like cut into my lip. And my lips, I mean, my lips are not huge, but obviously I have them and it's soft tissue. So if you have a metal barbell that's like shortened and your lip is like something that flexes, you know, like you're smiling, you're talking, you're eating, you're doing all of this. And it's flexing, contracting, flexing, you know, all of that. And so with that, having the short barbell, it was, it just created all of this unnecessary pressure on my lip. Just so that I can have, again, a short enough barbell so that it doesn't touch my gums. And so that's what I did, but it was kind of a sacrifice. Sacrifice being either I have a longer barbell that gives my lip space to flex and contract and all of those things, or I switch to a much shorter barbell that doesn't touch my gums, but it restricts my lip so much so that it's just an absolute bother and just a pain, not literal pain, but like pain in the ass. Y'all know what I mean. So I ended up taking it out. I feel like I'm content with the piercings I have going on, on my head. <laughs> I was gonna say on my face, but obviously on my ears too. So between my stretched ears, my industrials, 
tragus, helix, all of that on both sides and my nostrils. And then my tongue, which I consider, I consider my tongue to be like my peekaboo piercing. But between all of that, I feel like I'm completely content in my aesthetic. I just got to a point where it's just like, mm, yeah, okay, I'm cool without it. So, Mommy. yes, Corey, mommy is here. So we broke our doorknob, y'all, because it got stuck. We live in an old apartment, and this is what we got to deal with. Hopefully y'all are hearing all of this. But this is what I be having to deal with whenever I record. Corey, mommy's coming. And the last reason I took it out is because I just kept biting on it. Going back to what I mentioned about it either being a longer post or a super short post, which either one didn't really work for me and there wasn't kind of like an in-between. Trust me, I tried. I realized I had to just go longer, slightly longer, and even that slightly longer was kind of too long and I still ended up biting on it when I ate. Not all the time and not every single bite I took, but enough to where I got to the point where it was just like, okay, this is annoying. <laughs> And so eventually that kind of just added on to me just simply saying, all right, I'm good. That was like the cherry on top. And eventually I just ended up taking it out. So this is the second time. Yeah, the second time that I pierced it, took it out, pierced it again, and now I took it out again. But some things you just have to give up on. And not in a bad way, but just in a kind of, okay, I'm, I'm content with this decision kind of way, you know? And so that was that. Hopefully the video got a little bit quieter than the earlier portion of this video because my three-year-old, my, my husband basically ended up taking her across the street from the park. Thank God we live across the street from the park. So it's a little bit quieter now. It's just me and my five-year-old, but she's, she's okay. Like she's, she doesn't bother mommy too much, but then she's five. So anyway, once again, this is not to deter anyone from getting any kind of, any piercing in general. Forget about just librettes, but just anything. Go for it. Like, bro, I'm telling you, go for it. I'm all for piercings clearly. So this is not that. This is not deterring anybody from getting them. If you want to get it, go for it. I still like central librettes, honestly. If I didn't have the experience I had, it's not even because I pierced it myself, because obviously I've had piercings that I have done myself and I still have them years later, i.e. my nose. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not even that. It's just that particular piercing didn't work out for me, but it's not to say it's not going to work out for you. So as I said, go for it. Don't let me or anybody for that matter, hold you back. Why not? Like there's no reason for you not to. If you don't like it, just take it out. Like it's not a huge deal. Anyway, if you guys like this video, which I hope you did, because this is kind of a fun spur of the moment, just improvising really, which a lot of my videos are now that I think about it. Uh, type of video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and until next time, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.